Welcome to Peter King's Training Camp Tour presented by Die Hard Batteries and Advance Auto Parts. Peter King with NBC Sports here at Titans Training Camp in Nashville with Ryan Tannehill, the quarterback of the Titans. So Ryan, I think one of the interesting things coming out and seeing you at practice is seeing like a lot of the newness that you have on offense. Traylon Burks, the first round pick, no more A.J. Brown. What has this camp been like getting used to some new guys? Yeah, it's been a, uh, a transition for us, right? From going back to the spring, we had all these guys in here kind of detailing our routes and, and the way we want to do things. And then now, as we get out here and put pads on, we're actually playing football. We're able to transition from a meeting room, from you know talking in individual drills and, and see guys make the plays in, in team settings. So it's been a lot of fun for me, you know, watching our guys that have been here accelerate their play and play a lot faster than are making plays for me than new guys like you mentioned, Traylon, Chig, uh, Austin Hooper, guys who who are just joining us this year of, of coming on board and, and making plays for us. Mike Vrabel, your coach, told me before practice that you were going to do a couple of periods of this thing called Call It, which I don't see around the league. Everything is so closely scripted. Right. And Call It is basically you call plays, you know, on offense, and you have to execute them. It's almost like a pop quiz, I guess, for a <laughs> lot of the guys. And defense has to respond to it. Right. Tell me what it's like and how do the players like that? Yeah, it's the most similar to a game situation, right? Normally, like you mentioned, things are scripted. You know you know exactly the, the racks that you're going to have throughout throughout practice. You get these call-up periods. You have somewhat of a game sheet, uh, a call sheet, and, and you can call anything on there. So it puts you most like in a, in a game situation. We're subbing from the sideline. We're uh, going from first, second to third down, playing the situation. So it tests everybody on the field. It tests uh, your knowledge of the playbook. It tests your knowledge of details on a specific play. And it's something you can't really uh, prepare the night before for. You have to come out and hit it in real time. So I want to ask you a little bit about history. The last time you were on a field playing a game must be a bitter memory. Your loss to Cincinnati. You threw a late interception in that game that allowed Cincinnati to win. You guys were the top seed. You said some things in the weeks and months after that game about being in a dark place and being really kind of depressed over that and taking you a long time to get over it. Take me through that process and what it was like for you. Yeah, it was not a fun process. You know, you, you put so much into it and then to have things in the way they did, uh, it was heartbreaking. And um, yeah, it put, me in, it put me in a dark spot. And hadn't For really, how long? I hadn't really been in that spot before. Um, I don't know, it was weeks and weeks of, of not really sleeping and then, you know, kind of slowly got better from there, working my way through it. You know, it wasn't something that, that I just passively um, got through. I was <laughs> intentionally, you know, seeking out help, talking to somebody and, and trying to work through um, the mental side of it. The mental side is, is such a big thing in, uh, for everybody in life, but especially in sports. You know, we, we, we talk about it as an organization. We have guys that uh, help us with our bodies, help us train, and uh, we also have help, people that help us with our minds. So um, being able to take advantage of that and kind of destigmatize the mental side of things where, hey, we're all going to go through something at, at different points in our life, and, and it's okay, right? Um, now you have the opportunity to, to work through it and, and be intentional about growing through the process and, uh, and moving forward. What would you say is the most valuable lesson you learned from this mental health professional about dealing with crushing things like that? Um, the whole thing was a learning process. You know, it's tough to nail it to one thing, but um, you know, you're not you're not pushing away the feelings. You're you're acknowledging the feelings. You're you're really feeling them and and digging through why you're feeling them, and then. Um, Kind of moving, moving past it at that point, right? You, you're not stuffing it away and uh, hoping just to, to never feel it again, right? You're acknowledging it, knowing it's there, and um, then moving, moving through it. Yeah. So, how is it now when you think back on that day? Does it still really bum you out, or you say, "Hey, life goes on"? Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a scar. That's kind of how I've described it. It's a scar, right? It's, it's always there. You remember it. Yeah. But it's not a wound anymore. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt the same. Yeah. You acknowledge, like, yeah, that sucked, but. That was last year. This is a new year. Uh, we have everything out in front of us, and uh, what happened last year, whether it was good or bad, it, it doesn't matter at this point. You know, we have to take each day as its own and, and take advantage of it. I remember meeting you and your wife around the draft a few years ago, and you guys well, a few years, a few ago, years yeah. ago, and you guys were so close, so tight, which is obviously continued. But is that a process that 
you sort of need your wife involved in it too? No doubt. You know, she's uh, she's my rock. She's there for me no matter what. Um, you know, good day, bad day, anything in between. Uh, transitions. You know, that's she's my my steady person in my life, and and we can get through anything together. So thankful for her and everything that she means to me. One of the things that I think about like the media today, it is so omnipresent, it is so 24 seven, that honestly, there's so many things. You can never be, you can almost never truly move past it. But let's talk about this season. Do you feel like you're coming into this season with a blank slate? No doubt, I'm excited uh, about this season. I'm excited the way we had um, a lot of progress throughout our off season in the spring. And then we've kind of carried that momentum into this fall and we have, Guys that, uh, like I mentioned, who've been here that are that are getting a lot better and, and making plays when we consistently, uh, our new guys are, are making plays. So as a quarterback, as a leader of the offense, it gives you a lot of excitement that if we can just stay the course, keep progressing, keep detailing things and, and uh, playing fast, that we're going to be in a good position. Every year is a big year for a quarterback, but I feel like particularly this year because of how good an overall team you have, do you sort of feel like, listen, you know, we let one slip last year. We really need to take advantage of our opportunity this year. You know, you have to try to take advantage of every opportunity you get. So, uh, like I said, I'm excited about our guys that we have and this squad that we have. It's competitive out here each and every day in practice. Um, I'm proud of the way our guys are working and making each other better through that competition. You know, our defense is pretty stacked on, on the front. front they, seven. they are stacked. Stacked, right? So They're it's stacked, uh, yeah. it's fun to see those guys um, make plays it's it's not so fun when you're the guy standing behind them and, and they're getting in your lap but uh, our offensive line is getting better they came out here today they battled gave me time to uh, to make some throws so uh, proud of those guys I, I just thought of this watching Robert Woods out there last year after the Super Bowl Cooper Cup said this is for Robert Woods this is you know they loved that guy right so what have you seen in him early on here in Nashville. Yeah, he's such a good guy. Uh, first of all, just take the football out of it, man. He's, he's such a good guy. You love being around him. Uh, then bring him into the locker room. He's a veteran um, receiver. He's leading that room. He has so much experience and, and knowledge of the game. So, you know, some things, you know, we talk about it one time and boom, he already knows exactly what I'm going to tell him on something. And, and just that initial chemistry is is already there and we continue to work and build, build on that. So uh, a guy that is so smooth route running, he, he has an understanding of what we're trying to accomplish and he's definitely going to help us. Ryan, have a good year. Thank you, Peter. It was great yeah. seeing you. Thank you. In Nashville, this is Peter King. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.